How did you manage to get a branded box? An appropriately branded box? Got 370 for the week. Three, three euro 70 cents. Will that suffice? Welcome to Alicante. We're about to cycle 600 kilometers up the coast. But today's video, as we've got a free day, is going to be dedicated to how to pack your bike when you go bike packing. Number one, get a really good cardboard box. This one is a proper one that's had a bike in before. Purpose made and the perfect size. Jimmy's one is shit. It also had a bike in it, but it was a mountain bike of the E variety and therefore the box was incredibly large. It took about an hour and lots of help from Emily, but we basically cut the box down to the size and it's actually ended up smaller than your one. It's very convenient. What it means is, that you can make a box out of other boxes rather than having a special box. And it's become a special box. You could sell that on. I'm going to. Let's have this fund in this trip. <laughs> Two, get some bubble wrap and bubble wrap up your helmet, bike packing luggage and anything else that you want to take with you that you're not going to take in your hand luggage. If you're good with this, usually you can get away with a small drawstring bag or in my case, one of my panniers to take onto the plane. So you just got minimal valuables in a bag like that. Everything else could go inside your bike box, which has got a much higher weight limit. I think you're allowed up to 30 kilograms in the flight we just took. It's 32 actually. 32. So you can put loads of your stuff in there. Doing a nice thick layer of bubble wrap also means you can pad out the box and stop things from moving around as much when it's actually inside. The helmet's pretty robust and it just stops the box from collapsing in on itself if people get rough with it on the uh, runway. Recycled from an old I bought. I bought something, can't remember what it was, came with these, kept it. Please the first. Bonus tip here, if you have a proper purpose-made bike box, then it probably would have come with some bits of foam like this. These are fantastic for the reasons I mentioned before. You can use them to stop the box collapsing in on itself and you can put your wheel through these slots. But chances of having these and your purpose-made pipe lagging, fairly unlikely. So instead, pack all your clothes into a drawstring bag and use that for padding. It will be nice and soft and you can use that, which is about the width of a bike box, to uh, stop things from moving around. Place your bike in the box like this, with the back wheel on, shifted to your easiest gear and big ring on the front. That keeps the chain under tension and it's least likely to fall off and then move around and cause scratches and that kind of thing. Remove your seat post completely, you're going to bubble wrap that and put that in as a separate item. Undo your top cap and your stem bolts, take the stem completely off and tuck your handlebars into the frame and loop them around. I'll flash up on the screen what this looks like. You want to put some pipe lagging or a little bit of bubble wrap as protection just in between the bars and the frame, but I found this is the best and most secure location for them. In this case, I've also left my bar bag and food pouches on there as well, which again are squashed in between the frame and the bars. Make sure the front wheel is taken out. If you're using disc brakes, make sure you put something in between the caliper just in case your lever gets squeezed so the pads don't stick together. You can use something as simple as a clean plastic card or a piece of paper for this. I keep stuff that I might need on the other end, like DI2 charger, set of Allen keys, my through axles, all inside the pouches of my bike luggage. So that's inside the box, ready to go as soon as I open it up. I imagine most people won't want to be bike packing, carrying around a tape measure. So a small piece of electrical tape at the top of your seat post to mark how high you have it is a very handy thing to do. Mine also has this uh, nice rubber thing. Pedals. I'm putting these on last and I took them off first. If you do leave your pedals on, there probably won't be any space for your front wheel. So this is one of the first things you want to take off the bike while both wheels are still on because it makes it much easier. Ta-da! I personally think that using a box in this way to get a bike somewhere is better than using one of those soft bags. Yeah. I've used them as soft bags before and I got a bike totaled. And I think the main reason is if a baggage handler isn't able to easily maneuver it, then they're probably gonna end up chucking it or something rather than that gets, gets damaged. Whereas with these boxes, they're relatively small, they're quite light. I think both of ours ended up being about 19 kilos. Hands on either side, they probably see stuff like this all the time. Probably even happy with stuff like this because it's super easy for them to lift up, move it. Goes on one of those automatic trolley things really well. That's obviously if you can afford a hard box, it's the best option. Personally, I would always do a box if I had to a cardboard box over a 
a soft bike bag. Me and Jimmy have opted for different uh, methods when it comes to how to transport a pair of sunglasses. Mine are in my helmet. Because if it's going to protect your head, probably protect your glasses. Mine are in my shoe. In your shoe? In my shoe. So that's pretty much how I'd pack my bike. This does leave you with a small predicament of how to get rid of a giant cardboard bike box. We're in a hotel today and they've been very kind and they're going to be getting rid of the box for us. Sometimes though, that is quite hard to achieve because, well, it's just a bit of a weird request, especially if there's a language barrier. Luckily, we can hold, hold your luggage for you until tomorrow. We're like, what? No, we don't want it back. <laughs> can you keep the boxes? We'll return in a week for them. <laughs> On the whole, most places are happy to oblige, but if you can't find somewhere, then usually behind the hotel, there'll be some very big bins. Next to the bins, you can put a box, and generally, it's always been okay. That's what we did in America. We were at a bit of a sketch motel. You're digging out motels in America. <laughs> well, some motels are all right, and some of them have blood on they, the wall. They work, what? Whose blood is it? I don't know, we never found out. Was it fresh? Was it still wet? That concludes our tips for flying with your bike for bikepacking. A sensible set of people would now go and test ride the bikes and make sure they're working. But <laughs> one, can't be bothered. Two, if we do find out there's something wrong with our bikes, I mean, what's gonna happen? We'll the, the, worry about it all well, night. That's it. The only option is you stress about it all night and then deal with it in the morning. Or what we can do is not deal stress with it about in the it morning. Now. Find out in the morning, then deal with it in the morning. That's Thanks. the best tip of them all. Train to Barcelona. I say, that we have had a successful journey and now we should acquire some local food from the local fooderies. Tapas. And we want big food, we have to order so much. And tapas. I don't know how to translate this. But a perfect example of where you can leave cardboard boxes at the bins. I'm gonna guess it's that one. That one's glass. Organico. Is, is that glass or is it no glass? I think it's no glass. But we don't have glass, that's fine. So, there, perfect. Right behind the hotel. Something like this is always there. That is always there. Everything's very fancy, isn't it? We somehow ended up in like the really fancy bit. Like, fancy glasses. No, I just wasn't expecting it. There was a Lambo down there. We've eaten our body weight in pizza. My legs are feeling actually quite sore from pushing that cardboard box for what felt like about five miles through the airport. But I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, me too. Did you film the pizza? No. Oh, mate. Mate. That was, that was, it was too big to film. I would have had to use a fisheye lens <laughs> to get it. It was up there one of the best pizzas I think I've ever had. It was fantastic. Really good. So good. If you're ever in uh, Alicante, that is where we are, isn't it? Yes. Woodpecker Pizza. Check it out. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.